State Senator Jay Costa joins us now. And if you'd like to see this interview stream live, always best advice, go to kdkradio.com and click on KDKA Radio Watch. Jay, great to have you back. And yeah, it is getting down to crunch time, the convention next week in Chicago. Earlier today, Kamala Harris posted that uh, the administration is announcing $100 million to help state and local governments cut red tape and build affordable homes across our nation. I know that's something you're very passionate about. So are we doing enough, not only in our nation, but in Pennsylvania, to make housing affordable for our residents. Good evening. Good evening, Robin. Thanks for having me. We have taken great steps over the course of the past couple of years with our HOP program, our whole home repair program, many other programs that have been developed, but certainly there's more that needs to be done. And it's just not a Pittsburgh, Allegheny County, or even Pennsylvania. It's, it's an issue across the country. Affordability, access, um, being able to purchase a home, maintain a home. These are big issues now that are facing a lot of states and local communities. And uh, federal government, again, stepping up and trying to do more, I think is going to be beneficial. So I think it's a wise plan to be able to address housing in our Commonwealth and in our country. Uh, the Republican vice presidential candidate, J.D. Vance, will be at the VFW in Lower Borough post-92 on Thursday. Doors are going to open at 7. He'll begin his remarks at 10. One of the things that I read in the Post-Gazette was talking about the numbers in the military going down, and he kind of blamed it on the liberal politician that is Kamala Harris, the Biden administration. I'm not so sure I agree with that. But one thing I do know, numbers are down there in the military, teaching jobs in the public education world here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but also in law enforcement. And you being the former Allegheny County Sheriff and a big believer in law enforcement, what do we do? And we've talked about this before, but it's timely to discuss it now, especially with this election cycle. What do we do to get get more people interested in law enforcement and education, and for that matter, the military in our country. We need numbers, Jay. We do need numbers, Rob, and I will tell you that I think we have to do a better job of conveying to folks, young folks especially, of course, uh, that there is a good career to have, whether it be in the military, whether it be in law enforcement or an educator. 